Today in our 2004 Chrysler Pacifica, we'll be having a look at our best trailer wiring options. To my right, we have the Curt T-Connector Vehicle Wiring Harness, part number C55530. And to my left, we have the Takancha T1 Vehicle Wiring Harness, part number 118303. Now today we're focusing on wiring harnesses for vehicles that are not equipped with a factory seven-way connector. If your vehicle does have a factory seven-way and you need to purchase a replacement for it because it stopped working for some reason, we have multiple different options available for you on our website. Now the first biggest difference that we found is in regards to power output. Our current wiring harness here on our turn signal and brake light circuits, we have a total power output of three amps per side on the vehicle, which is a sufficient amount of power to tow a trailer with LED lights is not an issue at all. And if we have two or three incandescent light bulbs for our turn signals and brake lights, that's not an issue there. We'll be able to power those just fine. And now for our tail light and running light circuit, we have a total power output of six amps. We could basically have as many LEDs as we wanted on our trailer with six amps of power and we'll be able to run several incandescent lights without an issue. Now in our Takancha wiring harness here, we have 2.1 amps of power output for our turn signals and brake light circuits per side. So it's a little bit less here. For running LED lights, not an issue. Probably wanna limit ourselves to about two uh, incandescent lights if we're towing an older trailer per side just to make sure we have enough power to run those properly. As far as our tail light and running light circuit goes, we have a total power output of 4.2 amps. So we should be okay with running LED lights, but we may want to make sure we don't have too many incandescent lights. We could run, find ourselves running low on power. This, that would be a great opportunity to upgrade your trailer to have LED lights at this point because they are brighter and draw less power. Just something to consider. We have several options of those available on our website for your trailer as well. The next biggest difference we found is in regards to construction quality. On our Takancha wiring harness here, the control box is very well sealed with the silica material to help keep the elements out of it. Even though this is mounted inside the vehicle, it's nice to see that they took the time to make sure our converter box is well insulated and protected. Additionally, we have this nice dust cover here that seals very tightly around our fuse holder. This will make sure that we don't have to worry about any elements potentially getting inside of it and causing corrosion and making our fuse ineffective. Then we have a separate ground wire here, which we can attach to a grounding point inside the vehicle. There is a vehicle ground that is pre-existing in the vehicle that we can just attach this right to. This is nice because we're not relying upon the ground for our vehicle's factory tail lights in order to run our module. It's putting less strain on the system. Now in our current wiring harness, our box isn't quite as well sealed. You can see where the wires go in. You can actually see a little bit of gap around there. So there's a potential that moisture and dirt or even just humidity can get inside there and potentially cause corrosion. On our fuse holder here, our dust cover doesn't seal quite as well as it does on the Takancha, so it is a little bit different there. Finally, our wiring harness gets its ground off of the vehicle's ground wire that goes to our tail lights, so we're relying upon using that ground that takes care of our tail lights over on the passenger side of the vehicle. It would be nice to have the ground wire separate that we could attach to a grounding point on the vehicle. That way we're putting less strain in the vehicle's wiring harness. Another big difference that we found is in regards to the included accessories. Our current wiring harness has everything that you need in order to get it installed. It even comes with a tube of silicone that we can use to seal around the grommets of our tail lights after we slice them open to pass our wiring harness through. Our Takancha wiring harness, however, doesn't come with that, but we do have silicone sealant available on our website if you need to pick some up. Now, as far as similarities go, both of these wiring harnesses install in very similar fashions. They both require no splicing, no modification to the vehicle. They're a simple plug and play. They also both give us the necessary lighting functions that are required by law in order for us to safely and legally tow a trailer. We'll have our tail lights, our running lights, our turn signals, and our brake lights. 
Both of our wiring harnesses also are designed to be stored inside the hatch of our vehicle when they're not in use. Simply lift up on your cargo cover here, take your wiring harness, drape it to the side of your latch, and close your hatch on up. Readily accessible down by your trailer hitch, making it easy to hook up to your trailer. This particular wiring harness is the Kurt, but the Concha wiring harness will look exactly the same. Now for a brief summary. As far as power output goes, we found the Kurt wiring harness to be the winner here because it does have a higher power output. As far as construction quality goes, we found the Takancha wiring harness to be the winner here because it is a little bit better made. As far as included items goes, we found the Kurt wiring harness here to be the winner because it does have everything we need in order to get this installed properly. By having the silicone sealant, we don't have to worry about purchasing anything else. It has everything we need. And that completes our look at the best trailer wiring options for the Chrysler Pacifica. We hope you find this video helpful and Thanks for watching. Click the link in our description below to shop, learn more, or visit us at eTrailer.com. And leave us a comment if you have any questions.